Hey to YouTube, this is Jeff, aka 101 Bronson, back today with the next monthly update, collection update uh, for the month of June 2021. Um, a month in which I was expecting not to pick up that many movies, but uh, thanks to two great packages from two great YouTubers, my collection has expanded this month more than I <laughs> anticipated. But anyway, I'm very appreciated by that, you know, Donnie, Cinemaniac 77 and Carlos, Eastwood for Life fan, fan both sent me some great packages with some great titles. Um, <clears throat> Donnie sent me a great stack of DVDs, Carlos sent me a great stack of Blu-rays and a couple of DVDs in there as well, a, a bootleg DVD which helped complete my big collection of uh, Sergio Corbucci. I'm very uh, grateful for that and uh, yeah, it's been a cool month, I picked up a few items of course myself as well, so uh, a few special editions. I'm excited to go into this. Uh, let's do it right now. And as we're taking a look at my June 2021 collection pickups. Here we go. All right, the first thing I'm gonna show you is that bootleg DVD that Carlos sent us of What Am I Doing in the Middle of the Revolution? Now you guys have seen this, obviously I did my review by the time this video goes up. Um, did my review this movie, yeah, you guys know it's my least favorite Kobuchi movie, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily bad. I mean, it, it still was a, a watchable movie, it's just compared to the other Kobuchi movies, uh, is where the big letdown was. But uh, yeah, uh, only way to get this movie on DVD, or, or on any form, a physical, with a English audio, is this bootleg DVD, which uses the Spanish DVD cover, by the way, so... But uh, yeah, Eduardo Fiardo, Spaghetti Regular in this, didn't know the two leads. I actually did discover that Victorio Gassman was in one of my favorite movies, uh, Sleepers, with uh, Rob De Niro, Dustin Hoffman, uh, Brad Pitt, uh, Kevin Bacon, he, he was in that? I think he was. Uh, anyway, he was in that, so I, I do know uh, Victorio Gassman from at least one other movie. But this guy, I will literally never have seen before. Um, Paulo Villaggio. But anyway, I spent too much time about this movie already. I did a full review on it. So check it out if you want to. It's part of my Kobuchi series that's going on on my channel right now. So anyway, that's what am I doing in the middle of the revolution. <laughs> then we have a official release for a Spaghetti Western on DVD. This is John Yuma with Mark Damon, Lawrence Dobkin, uh, Rosal Baneri, uh, some very cool uh, spaghetti faces in there. I definitely recognize a lot of the faces. Directed by Romolo Guerri, probably butchered that. But this is a fantastic spaghetti western, I must say. I really enjoyed this one. John Yuma with Mark Damon, who was also in Corbucci's uh, Ring One is Golden Pistol, aka Johnny Oro. And yeah, she is a very hot um, woman, <laughs> if, I, if I can say. Um, I really enjoyed She has. One of the best performances by a woman in a spaghetti western I have seen in a long time. She actually had a very substantial part and had a lot to do. And I really enjoyed this movie. This is one that I recommend for spaghetti western fans if they haven't seen it. Because this, I, I think I can throw this on the same pile as like a blind man or a forgotten pistolero and say this is a pretty forgotten gem of the spaghetti western genre. I really enjoyed this movie. And this is the German DVD which does have the English audio. And it has a, a different cover art on the uh, actual case, as you guys can see. It did have this on here, but you can reverse it. It's reversible uh, cover art, as you can see right there. So, well, actually, no, it was the same as it is already here, but uh, without the FSK logo, which also was, of course, on the slip box as a sticker, and I removed that, so no FSK logo on this whatsoever. Anyway, this is Johnny Yuma from, I believe, 1966. Yeah, 1966. All right, moving on from the Spaghetti West to the people that release a lot of Spaghetti Westerns, but this is not a Spaghetti Western release by Wild East Productions. This is actually from their Euro Crime collection. And this is one of the titles uh, that I think we're going to cover all the titles now that Donnie has sent us in the Maniac 77. We appreciate this uh, generous uh, package uh, once again. Uh, featuring Farewell Friend, aka Adieu La Ami, or Honor Among Thieves, and Rider on the Rain, which is one of my favorite Bronson movies. This one actually not too bad as well, but uh, yeah. And this is a fantastic uh, edition again by... Uh, one of my favorite companies, for sure, Wild East uh, Productions. 
very cool uh, Bronson double bill. And of course, me being 1-1 one -one Bronson, this definitely deserves a place in the collection for sure. So, uh, yeah. Moving on, we got a few more Bronson titles. Actually, I did already own this one. Um, but I've mentioned that my DVD is a bit faulty. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't really work anymore. So I was looking for a replacement. So Donnie has delivered for us. Unknowingly, he actually didn't know I was... Uh, looking for a replacement, but this is someone behind the door, Charles Bronson, Anthony Perkins, also one of my favorite roles by Jill Ireland in this movie, who often was in uh, in Charles Bronson's movies, there she is right there. I think this is one of the best roles she did in a, in a Bronson movie. Um, uh, look at Bronson, man, he always had a great physique, didn't he, man. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this is a this is a fantastic movie. I think this is one of my favorite acting roles by Bronson because he really does some acting in this movie. Because uh, this is like a, uh, I, I want to say supernatural. Yeah, right. Charles Bronson in a supernatural movie. No, I was gonna say this is a more of a suspense thriller, uh, like a character study also as well a little bit. I really enjoyed this movie. I don't think this movie gets talked about too much. Um, but a really good one if uh, one has the chance to check it out. I definitely recommend doing so. Someone behind the door from 1971. Moving on, we got some more action in the Wild West. Or, oh, well, this one is actually Mexico. Villa Rides. Uh, Yul Brenner, Robert Mitchum, Charles Bronson. There he is again. Uh, trivia for you. This is the very first movie where Charles Bronson has his, has his iconic uh, and trademark mustache. So I actually didn't know that. I actually read that on the IMDb trivia as well. But yeah, this is the first movie featuring Charles Bronson and his iconic look with the mustache. And this was a very good um, revolutionary Western, actually, about the Mexican Revolution, of course. Uh, you know, Yul Brenner as Pancho Villa. A great movie. I really enjoyed this one. Bronson played a pretty sadistic uh, piece of work in this one, actually. Um... Again, one that I recommend for people that haven't uh, seen this one yet. Villa Rides. Considered by many as a sort of spaghetti western or Euro western because uh, I believe there are some Italian people in here. Yeah, Frank Wolf is in here, spaghetti western regular. I believe there was somebody else. But yeah, uh, this could be considered as a spaghetti western, but it's actually made by Americans, obviously. So make it out what you will. But Villa Rides, great movie. Recommend it. Uh, now we have a few of Donnie's um, package that I actually haven't seen yet. I haven't had the chance to check everything out yet, but this is Heaven's Gate by Michael Cimino. Now, obviously, I, even if I haven't seen it, I do know a bit about this movie. This is the one that really I flopped back in the day, went over budget and stuff, and it sort of killed Michael Cimino's career a little bit. <clears throat> and uh, it's, it's a long movie too, you know, 229 minutes, as you guys can see right there. Uh, Michael Cimino, of course, the director who did Thunderbolt and Lightfoot with Clint Eastwood and Jeff Bridges and also uh, The Deer Hunter, which is yeah definitely his most famous uh, movie. Great cast, Christopher Walken, John Hurt, um, Chris Christopherson is in it, Brad Dorif, you know, Chucky, uh, Joseph Gunn, wow, Jeff Bridges, yeah, great cast, great, great Yes, and uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to watching this movie. This is going to be one that I will be watching very soon, for sure. Uh, Heaven's Gate by Michael Cimino. Next one, I also haven't checked out this one yet, but it's a movie directed by George Romero and Dario Argento. This is Two Evil Eyes, which it's like two movies put together or something, if, if, if I uh, heard that correctly. But, uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to this. I mean, from the directors of Dawn of the, De Dawn of the Dead and Suspiria. And, of course, also uh, Dario Argento, you know, both Crystal Plumage, uh, Cat o' Nine Tales. Really enjoy his work. Uh, Deep Red also. Of course, yeah, the director of Dawn of the Dead. That's fantastic. Um, Harvey Keitel is in it. Adrian Barbeau, Martin Balsam, Tom Atkins, Maniac Cop. Uh, Effects by Tom Savini, of course, famous for Friday the 13th, among many, many others. Uh, Blue Underground uh, DVD, really looking forward to checking this one. This might be one that I will watch uh, tonight. Um, and this is a limited edition of 30,000 copies, which is a lot. So I think it's still uh, available out there. But, and I do know this has a arrow release, if I'm not mistaken. There's a bonus. Oh, crap. There I just show tits. Oh, 
I didn't mean to do that. Uh, probably will have to censor that part. <laughs> or maybe it wasn't on screen long enough, I don't know, but okay. I should I, I should have checked this before I showed you guys. Okay, wait. <laughs> I can't show you that again. Uh, so, okay, this disc is safe. So yeah, the bonus disc has some nice bonuses on the cover, on the disc itself, as you guys saw. Um, damn, I, sh I did not know there were boobs on the uh, disc, but I probably should move on before I get uh, <laughs> before I get in trouble. But uh, yeah, looking forward to watching this one. That's all I'm gonna say. Here is the. John Wayne collection that Donnie has sent us. I have watched one of the three movies in here. I've watched the War Wagon, which is, it, it looked like the one that's gonna be the most interesting to me from, you know, to watch first. And I think I made the right choice because this one, Rooster Cockburn, <laughs> he said Cockburn, <laughs> is a sequel to the uh, 1969 movie, uh, True Grit. So I would love to see the original before I watch the sequel. Um, and this one is a very early Western, even having Marlene uh, Dietrich and Randolph Scott in it, uh, the spoilers, which, uh, yeah, this might be the one I watch next for sure though, but, uh, this one looked the most interesting because it had not just John Wayne, but also Kirk Douglas, you know, Spartacus, and I must say this was a pretty fun, entertaining, uh, US Western. And yeah, I, I enjoyed watching this one. So that's the John Wayne collection. All right, and the last um, DVD edition is this collector's uh, set, collector's edition, free disc of American Gangster. This was also, also sent to us by Donny, Cinemaniac 77. And this is a time where I show you a bit more in depth because I did say that I was gonna save this to show in depth, so. Let's do that. Uh, like, yeah, it comes with three discs. This is the original theatrical one. Or, and the unrated extended one. And two bonus discs. Wow. So we have two cuts of the movie on one disc. And bonus features on two other discs. That's cool. I don't think there's artwork behind. Oh yeah, there's a little bit. It says American Gangster probably. Yeah, probably says American Gangster. Anyway, yeah, very cool if you guys want to read up. Oh, it includes over 18 minutes of additional footage. That's definitely the one I'm gonna watch. I always prefer watching the most complete and extended versions of a movie, so. Because yeah, I still haven't watched this classic yet. Uh, yeah, it just has been very busy lately. I've only been able to get so many movies in. Um, but definitely on the watch list for, uh, you know, to be watched very soon. And it also came with a pretty cool booklet and also, of course, a digital copy, which is down there. And the uh, J card that was probably on there. But I'm going to show you the booklet a little bit. So. Yeah, this movie is directed by Ridley Scott, so I definitely have to watch this because I do like Ridley Scott's movies. So yeah, it talks about the production, the making of, everything you would want in a cool booklet that comes with these uh, special collector's editions. Russell Crowe and uh, Denzel Washington in this movie. This looks like, um, oh, what's his name? I know him. Uh, Forshife, uh, Will William Forshife, I think that's his name. He was in, uh, or isn't that him? It looks like him a little bit from the side anyway. You know, the uh, the bad guy in the Steven Seagal movie, Out for Justice. I think it sort of looks like him. I think it, it might be him, I don't know. Uh, if any of you guys have seen the movie, you know who he is, please let us know if I'm right or wrong about that. Um, anyway, cool booklet. 
very cool. But, oh, this I, I I know her. She was in a Righteous Kill with Al Pacino and Rob De Niro. And the worst team ups between De Niro and Pacino. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I thought that movie was still okay, but well, we're not here to talk about that movie, obviously. So that's the uh, collector's edition booklet, and that's pretty much collector's edition. Um, cool edition for sure. I love the box here for it with this red ribbon, <laughs> and yeah, very cool and glossy and shiny uh, cover. Free disc collector's edition, nice and thick. It's sturdy. Nothing's gonna happen to this. Um, yeah, there we go. So that's covering all the DVDs. Now let's take a look at the Blu-rays for this month. Uh, first, I'll show you a couple that I picked up myself before I go to the uh, cool titles that Carlos sent us. I picked up the second season from Germany of the television series Baywatch. Uh, a couple of months ago, I picked up the first season. I watched, finally completed that, so I picked up the uh, second season. I mean, the last few days, last few weeks, actually, was kind of hot here in, in the Netherlands, sort of a heat wave. And, uh, yeah, what better time to watch Baywatch with the gorgeous Erika Lanyag. Man, I have a huge crush on Erika Lanyag in this show, I gotta be honest, guys. Usually not into blondes, but, man, I make an exception for her any old day of the week. But yeah, there's a season two on Blu-ray, uh, of course, German. It has German audio and everything. Of, uh, English audio and also German audio, but you know, I meant to say it has English audio. And I do believe the series has now been released in the US, uh, if I'm not mistaken, on, on, on Blu ray. So, but I'm gonna stick with these German editions because if you stack them to each other, it's gonna say one, two, three, it's gonna make a nice spine next to each other. So, uh, yeah, season two, I've watched the first desk of it, so that's the first like five episodes I watched. When I watched one, two, three, four, six episodes. And yeah, I'm still yet to watch the remainder of the season, but I have time. You know, I'm not rushing my way through this series. This is one that I just, uh, <clears throat> definitely not a show that I watch for the story. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, Baywatch season two on Blu ray. Another Blu ray and another spaghetti western. This is from Wild East, the latest release Giuliano Gemma in Arizona Cold. Volume 66 and spy number 75. Yeah, yeah, this is a cool edition and it's a very cool um, spaghetti western with uh, Giuliano Gemma. I really enjoyed this one. If you guys want to read what it's about, uh, feel free to pause and read the awesome uh, write up by Mr. Tom Betts from Spaghetti Western Podcast and also from the fanzine Westerns All Italiana. And yeah, Wild East knocked it out of the park once more with this release. Uh, yeah, the movie's there on Blu-ray. It's not the best transfer I've ever seen on a Blu-ray, but you know, it's still good enough. It's way better than the previous version of Arizona Cold. That's for sure, so. Anyway, Arizona Cold, AKA The Man From Nowhere. Next tile I picked up, this one was one of the first uh, purchases of this month, uh, as it was finally released here in the Netherlands. It was released worldwide everywhere else before, I believe, but finally picked up a copy of Zack Snyder's Justice League. Man, what an improvement over the original. <laughs> I actually was one of the people that did not mind the original, but man, after seeing this, I'm like, oh, fuck the original. Every time I want to watch Justice League, it's going to be this one from now on, but because well, this is... This is a fantastic uh, recut, re-edited uh, new version of, 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 of Justice League. Just absolutely fantastic, this uh, edition, this uh, cut of the movie. I, I can't recommend it. I mean, it, it might be four hours, <laughs> but it's four hours well spent. Um, yeah, really enjoyed this movie. I would definitely love to have Zack Snyder do more movies his way i mean because this one really was uh, pretty good really good really good uh, for a superhero movie i gave this one i believe a four out of five stars which is a pretty high rating for a superhero movie because it's not my my main genre of course but yeah i really enjoyed this one all righty and next we're gonna cover the blu-rays that carl's has sent to us starting with a few dwayne johnson movies that are actually for my mom but I'm going to show you anyway, because I have seen him now. 
I watched him. Uh, yeah, uh, faster. Dwayne Johnson, Billy Bob Thornton. Really uh, good movie. This one. I was uh, not expecting too much from Dwayne Johnson movies. Got to be honest. But damn, this uh, definitely exceeded the expectations. Really uh, high octane action thriller. This one. Dwayne Johnson, I think he definitely should do more of these parts. Uh, in terms of an action hero, I don't think he's, he's doing a worse job than, uh, than a Bruce Willis or something. I think he's actually doing better in these movies than a Bruce Willis would do nowadays. Uh, yeah, he, he, definitely uh, a good movie faster, this one here. Well, I really was amazed with this one. And also with this one right here, Snitch. This was a damn good uh, movie, this one, oh, man. It has Susan Sarandon in it, also um, him, uh, I know him from, uh, wait, uh, what's his name, let's look through the cast. Benjamin Bratt. I know him from Modern Family, <laughs> totally different role, this one. Susan Sarandon, like I said, John Burn Burnfell, Burn I hope I pronounced it right. Wolf of Wall Street, Grudge Match. Great actor, I love him in everything I've seen him in. He's also been in the first season of The Walking Dead. Love him in this one as well. Great cast, great movie, great thriller. Really amazed with this uh, movie right here. Snitch. And then Pain and Gain, I also rewatched. Oh, this was the only one of the three uh, Johnson movies that I have seen before. And this one still holds up. It's a fun, entertaining, little popcorn action movie uh, by Michael Bay with... Uh, Dwayne Johnson and uh, Mark Wahlberg. <clears throat> really enjoyed this one, seeing it once again. Then next up we have, he sent us this movie, Taken. Liam Neeson, this is the extended horror cut. Uh, I watched it, I didn't notice too many differences. I mean, there might have been some you know, shootouts that might have run a little longer or something, but nothing too noticeable about the extended version. But like I said, it's the first time owning it on Blu-ray, so it's totally okay it still holds up as well this movie just a fun watch i mean carlos has said that he had a problem with this movie he said it was too easy you know Liam Neeson just goes into paris and within a matter of hours he saved his daughter yeah but that's the fun of it you know he, he he's a ex-government agent he has this particular set of skills of course and uh he will do whatever he will he, he will do to find his daughter you know he uses every trick in the book and you know, even outside the book, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it might have been a bit too easy, but you know, that was the gist of it. He only had a, you know, X amount of hours, X amount of time to find his daughter. So that's what he did. And that's what makes it a pretty entertaining action movie. Actually, very similar to the Steven Seagal straight to DVD movie. Shadow Man, if anybody has seen that, where also his daughter gets kidnapped and Seagal goes after her. Not in the same way this one, because his daughter in that movie, Seagal's daughter is like a six or seven year old. Uh, obviously she can be so love into the uh, you know, prostitution ring, like his daughter here in this movie can. But uh, I mean, Liam Neeson also has said that he thought this was going to be a straight to DVD movie, but it wasn't and it was a big success and uh, spawned two sequels which, of course, were mad. The second one was watchable, but uh, don't get me started on the uh, on the third one, <laughs> which is pretty much uh, how to rip off uh, The Fugitive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Taken. Next up, another Spaghetti Western, the last Spaghetti Western uh, for this month here. This is A Man of the East with Terrence Hill. This is a Spaghetti Western comedy, also with... Uh, George Gre Gregory Walcott, Harry Carey, Yanti Sommer. This, the, probably these have to be aliases. These can't be real people. I mean, who is called Harry Carey? <laughs> um, anyway, German Koch Media Blu-ray. I have checked it out. Uh, yeah, the, it is a silly spaghetti western comedy, and not one of the best. That's for sure. But um, even the even the the worst spaghetti westerns for me are still worth watching. Um, but uh, yeah, this this wasn't the best one. This is directed by Enzo Barboni, who did, of course, uh, the Trinity movies with Terence Hill and Bud Spencer, among others. But uh, 
Yeah, Man of the East. I do like the cover art here. Sometimes in Spaghetti Westerns, the titles or the posters are better than the movie. I think this cover art is definitely better than the movie. <laughs> and last from the Carlos pickups is a special edition, which I did show in depth. Uh, Bruce Lee and the Dragon. Actually, <clears throat> watched the movie in this uh, Blu-ray edition. Great transfer. And the movie definitely still holds up as a... Uh, as a great kung fu action movie, man, this uh, definitely hasn't lost its charm whatsoever. Really had a blast watching this one again. Anyway, not gonna go in depth about it because I already did in the unboxing uh, video from the package of Carlos. So if you guys uh, have missed it, check it out if you want to to see me unbox this beauty. Get some great uh, contents in it. So yeah, enter the dragon. And the final one, this was a pre-order and it concludes the Blu-ray pickups and it, as it is a, another collector's edition, special edition, this is the newly released Arrow Video Blu-ray of Major Dundee. I'm not going to do an unboxing of this one as well because my good buddy Dan, Physical Media for Life, has done a wonderful unboxing and review about this movie because I actually haven't seen this movie yet. This is sort of a blind buy if you want, if you want to. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a western, it's a Sam Peckinpah movie, it was a no-brainer to pick this one up. And it's a beautiful edition by Arrow. Arrow has knocked it out of the park with this one, look at this great cover art that, you know, goes all the way around the, uh, uh, the box, the slip box. Um, you got a poster in there, two cuts of the movie, and the great uh, sort of like digi books. And uh, you get a poster, a booklet. It's a fantastic collector's edition. One of the highly recommend uh, for people to pick up. And like I said, I will leave the link to the video that my good buddy Dan, Physical Media for Life fan, has done. Uh, Physical Media for Life fan. Physical Media for Life. <laughs> he has done a great video. I will leave the link down below for you guys to check out. He has done it in the uh, Westerns for Life series that he and Carlos have going on. But... Uh, yeah, Major Dundee, this will definitely be one that after this video, I will pop this one in and watch it because Dan sp spoke about it in his video with so much passion and enthusiasm. Um, he called this an underrated masterpiece, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I definitely have to check this movie out. So Major Dundee, Sam Peckinpah movie with Charlton Heston and Richard Harris. Also James Coburn is in this movie. Great cast. Uh, looking forward to watching this movie. So yeah, there you have it. Those are the, all the pickups for June 2021. So there you have it. Those are the pickups for the month of June 2021. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, let me know how you feel about some of these movies down in the comments. Uh, as I always love to uh, chat with you guys about the movies, interact with you guys. It's one of the most fun things about YouTube uh, is to get to talk to movie fans about the movies. Uh, I would definitely really always love that. Um, anyway, hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy. Take care, keep punching, as always, and we'll see you in the next one. And uh, take care. So long for now. Adios. <laughs>